Good evening, folks. My name's Mark. This is Neil. Welcome, Neil. Uh, you should be able to both hear us and see us now on our tonight's webinar, which is all about the Pixlot AI video camera technology. In particular tonight, the Air. We're going to show you everything you need to know about the Air, the Pixlot Air camera. Um, this is just the basic housekeeping. If you can't see us, you can't hear us, then please start typing into that question section on your control panel and let us know. But everything we're seeing right now should show that you can see us. We're going to do a few things this evening. We're going to talk about the history of cameras, how, how Pixel got here, a bit of information about the company, and then we're going to get out of the box and have a good look at it so you can see exactly what you're buying and the, the, all the many benefits to your club. Um, Final bit of housekeeping. We're here in the pitch here office in Leeds. Uh, it's in the evening now. Staff have gone home, so we've got an empty office behind us. There are cleaners and people walking around, so you may see somebody with a mop. When we go live, they tend to turn on a very noisy hoover um, or, or the dishwasher. If that happens, we'll get them to stop. But you may see somebody with a mop and a brush walking around. But they're, they're part of the team and part of the family here at Pitch Hero. So let's begin. Neil, thanks for coming uh, all the way from London today. Lovely to be here, Mark. Thanks okay. for having us. It's great. It's great to be here. Pixelot is a fantastic company. Pitch here is a partner of Pixelot. So we, we looked across the market, the global market, all the best video camera systems out there. And we found very quickly that Pixelot were the experts. They had both the technology, which they'd mastered at the pro level. And now they're bringing that phenomenal technology down to non-league football, down to school sports, down to grassroots and junior football as well, and progressing into other sports very soon as well. That's right, yeah. So before we start, and we start looking at Pixelot, let's tell you a bit about how we got here. You might remember these. This is the first camera that Pitch Hero bought maybe 10 years ago. It's got a, a tiny little screen on the side. It's even got a port for the tapes. Tapes here. A lot of clubs still use cameras like these, or if not cameras like these, digital cameras that record to a, a little disc. They're really clumsy, they're really heavy, uh, they're very expensive and tend to be owned by the volunteer. Pitch Hero has also um, done things on mobile apps. You know, this is an Android camera phone with a Zoom, Samsung Zoom, which we, we developed apps for. Again, didn't work, real disaster. And there's even these smart cameras as well that people put around the pitch as well. It's been a minefield for the last sort of 10 years in grassroots sports in what sort of cameras to use and how to use them. It's been often down to the volunteers at the clubs to have their own bit of kit, their own bit of nous. That's all changed. There now is technology, video technology, specifically designed and built for grassroots sports clubs, uh, for non-league football, that does everything you want in one solution. And that is Pixelot. So Neil, tell us a little bit about the company, where it's based and what are you guys doing sure. around the world? So Pixelot, we're based in Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, been established in 2014 and we were really kind of like pioneers in, in AI video production so serving the elite end of the market something that's from our stable yeah. so the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid we're, we're a common face behind those closed doors of training grounds and also obviously partnering with the Barcelona Innovation Centre which has been fantastic in terms of our product development obviously you know, everyone knows Barcelona, so striving to, you know, have that kind of, is it, are we okay? Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Striving to have that kind of um, perfection in our product yeah. is something that we've always, you know, strive for. Um, and it's taking that technology, that elite technology, but then making it usable for grassroots. You're not taking the same tech, the same huge complex stats package. We're refining that and making that into a usable solution. Absolutely. That any coach, team Absolutely. manager can pick up and use. All about portability ease of use but from our learnings our experience from those seven years from that top end of the game yeah. we're now funneling that down into something that's affordable available to the mass market and can connect with club schools and all types of different people within that kind of vertical exactly so like i can't emphasize enough this is technology specifically designed for grassroots amateur school sports this isn't a fancy you know complex piece of technology if you can use an ipad you can use one of these cameras so to emphasize the sort of the reason why we got here the challenges we've mentioned already these sorts of bits of kit they're really expensive they're quite complex you have to find a volunteer who's got a camera that's not always easy you then have to find a volunteer who's willing to sit and do the videoing you know they have to look through the screen on the camera that's a real negative and makes videoing really challenging. But lots of volunteers, they might have a son playing or a daughter or they're emotionally attached to the team. Therefore, they want to watch the team walk up and down. 
And that's why video cameras always been quite challenging. And then you have the problem of always moving the files around. Um, I think on this camera, we used to have like four gig files that came out. We had to print the Mac, fire the Mac up, made a load of noise and get it online somehow. A real nightmare, not to mention the editing, the cropping, the moving the files. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's what you guys have tried to fix. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of those things are at the end of the day are associated to time, and to a volunteer who wants to watch their child, you know, that time's precious, and and also formatting it and doing all the stuff after the game. Yeah. So not only have they missed the game because they were filming and they were trying to set up, but then they've got to spend their Sunday Monday regurgitating that data, trying to get it off the camera and uploaded to X Y Z, um, which is yeah one one of the main challenges. And then I think also the consistency in the filming you know is that volunteer going to be there game in game out can away they go games, to away games yeah. um and so yeah to be able to offer someone some substance of saying yes we can capture every single game without the necessity of relying on someone yeah. is, is a massive bonus absolutely we're, we're running a campaign at pitch here called volunteer happy this season it's all about reducing the workload on volunteers making their lives easy this solution does exactly that and we'll come on to that how it's a dream for volunteers and not just a volunteer at one team in your club, but all the volunteers for all the different teams can use this. It's a, it's a tool, it's a device that's made for 20 teams in one club. One product solves all 20 teams. So now we've looked at the challenges around historically how we used to video and how we used to uh, record matches. Let's look at some of the benefits of why we do it. Um, and coaching, technical analysis is probably the number one reason why most teams would video game. Absolutely. I mean, objective data, we all know the power of, of seeing things, especially that we're now tapping into the, the, the younger end of that market. You know, everyone's these days, their heads in their phone, they're watching videos on YouTube and Instagram. We're providing them videos of themselves. Yeah. So that's the best way, in my view, to accelerate learning and also just get them to buy into the fact that they may or may not be doing something very well. That's right. Um, and then you mentioned the right word, objective. So um, lots of coaches and supporters have views of a the game. They have views of someone's performance. And after the game, they might say you didn't work hard enough. You didn't chase back hard enough. You know, um, your passing wasn't good enough. And everyone has a view. With video, you have an objective fact. It's yeah, on tape. Exactly. You know, we can see you not running. We can see you walking or we can see you not, you know, uh, passing well. And you can give objective feedback. And yeah. players respond to that, right? They respond to facts better than opinions. Absolutely. And I mean, you're, add, you're just add, adding another layer to their feedback that before people couldn't do, maybe because of a, a cost price point issue or yeah. maybe time, resource, know-how. If we can make that a much simpler process and get the video to the right people in the right time frames, yeah. they can use it as part of their process yeah. for all those reasons. And it might well be, you know, that within two or three years, you have fantastic data. You'll be playing people, the same players. So yeah. you have that kind of yeah. historic net data that will be able to help you. I think all the pro coaches would say the biggest difference between pro coaching and then grassroots is, is that they have video and they have data. And so you can say to a player, these are the facts. Yeah. And imagine if you could do that with grassroots, how much that player would improve. They yep. could see their performances. They could get the video clips, which you can do through Pixel, which will show. And they can see themselves getting better. They yeah. can see themselves tacking better, passing better. And as we go to the next one, number three, players love seeing themselves on tape. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to be on match of the day here in the UK or FIFA or whatever. How much, how much, how helpful is it for players to see themselves? Well, it's, I mean, it really is power to the player. If you can, if you can open up the taps and say, let the players see the data, yeah. they become thought leaders. You know, they're the guys that are now skinning the cat in terms of what needs to be done to their game. They're going back to the coach, asking yeah. the coach questions. So yeah. you've actually, you know, kind of reversed the process. Um, and again, they buy into the whole learning concept of what you're trying to achieve because they've got yeah. those videos videos available um and being able to self-critique themselves yeah um i, I was I always think that when i was a player i couldn't remember any of the game you know there were no. some players that could sit in the changing room afterwards and they could say second minute this happened they do the pass over the top and this happened i can't remember anything you yeah. know i literally the last 10 minutes i can remember the game but the first year you know, that that 60 minute in the middle forget it it's gone yeah. you know i was i was away so video crucial it lets people see how they're playing you can discuss it you can have objective feedback and four and five are very similar. So if you're a club out there, 
you know, getting your content on social media helps attract more players. They see you playing well. They see you playing good football. They want to be part of that. Parents see a good, ambitious club. They want to be part of that club. If you ask a mum or a dad, you know, you've got two clubs here. One's got lots of great video content on their website. You can see them playing good football. You can see the fans cheering. You can see the kids high-fiving. Or you've got a club over here, they've got nothing. Which one are you going to go join? You're going to go join the one where you can see firsthand what Absolutely. a great experience it is. And then also with that content that you produce and put on your website, you can get a sponsor, right? You can yeah. get sponsored around this. I mean, what better way to get a local brand or company off the ground than to be associated to a club that's, you know, seen as the as a thought leader or on the front foot with this type of yeah. um, access point. So, yeah. so it's a brand new asset for the club. You might have your perimeter stuff. You might have your sponsorship on your shirt, your track suits on your website. But now with this, you have a brand new asset to sell. And you can go out and charge good money for this, you know, really good money thousands of pounds maybe for a season of, of, of a local sponsor to sponsor all your video content which you could put on social media or you could put on your own club website so five big benefits there to investing in in, in really good sports tech video tech one is development of the players and the team objective really good feedback motivating players by seeing themselves on video doing good things winning games and third promotion marketing and revenue for the club three three five really powerful things there absolutely okay great so let's now um go on to the next stage we're going to come off this screen share here for a while and you should now be able to see a large video of our, uh, our office myself and neil stood here we've got behind us now uh the tripod and the camera inside the padded case which it comes in okay so this is exactly how you get it if you imagine one of those unboxing videos it's similar to that. So you're going to get uh, what looks like a, a, a laptop style bag, padded bag, super safe. This can get on a bus, it can be locked at the clubhouse, protects it, keeps it waterproof and safe and tight. And then you also get this pretty heavy duty tripod as well. Do you want to set this up, Neil? Yep. No worries. So this, this tripod will go up to 4.5 meters and it's going to operate in all conditions. It's a very simple plug and play. So the key thing about Pixelot and these new types of sports cameras is that they go on top of a tripod, quite how, how do you say five meters up? 4.5. 4.5 meters high. And depending on how close you are to the pitch is how high it goes. That's right. Yeah. And then you attach the video camera to the top of the tripod, you push it up to a certain distance, and then that's it. Set and play, yeah. You leave Absolutely. the camera alone. There's nobody sat on a chair behind or a bucket or, you know, in the corner of a stadium like this or, you know, with the with all the weather coming at them. That's it. So imagine you're a coach or a volunteer. And when you lay out the flags and the nets, you set out your tripod. You take your camera out of this bag, which is if you want to grab that, which is this, which will come to a second. Nice and light, really easy to use. You put it on top of here. Yep. And then you walk away. And that's it. You're set up. You're going to start collecting video and recording the game. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So let's just recap on that. You're going to have a tripod, which is incredibly strong, really firm. We'll do all weathers, things like that, wind, etc. You set the tripod up, just like putting out your flags and the nets. You're going to take your camera out of this uh, protective case, clips onto the top really easy, just like yep. a normal camera, and you're set up. And that's it. All right. Yeah, Anything absolutely. Else? Yeah, no, I mean, just a little bit more on the camera yeah, itself, let's talk about the camera now. Um, which is the real kind of beauty in what we've created, the Pixel Air camera that you can see here. So we've got dual lenses here, 4K lenses. So that's one lens here and one lens here, and they go out either side of the pitch. That's right, yeah. So the, tip of, the, the, the default position for the camera is on the halfway line, and that's where we're reading the halfway line. And when we, can, when we actually use the control app to set the camera up, we're looking for the four corners of the pitch yeah. to allow this to, for the technology to operate and for us to be able to produce that in an automated fashion. So that's 4K, it's recording it. Yeah, going out in yeah. 1080 HD, so it's, okay. it's broadcast quality once it's received back by the by the user. That's phenomenal. So that means that you can even send this into TV. So if you're a semi-pro team playing in the National League, Vanarama, or one of those Scottish teams in the leagues there, the way they push their content up to BT Sport or another big broadcaster, this can work. You can use this device to do broadcast ready quality. Absolutely. 
totally robust. You can see that. Yeah, I would throw it at well you. Made, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally waterproof. It's got an IP rating of 65, so nothing's going to touch it from that perspective. So it can sit quite happily on top of the tripod with rain. It does rain occasionally in England. All conditions. Never in Yorkshire, but occasionally in other parts of England. And that'll withstand it. Because that's pretty amazing if you think about the, the winters we get. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it has to be. It has to be rugged enough to go into those types of environments. You know, mm -hmm. we don't know where the camera's going to be used. So it has to be built for everything. How heavy is it? It's not that heavy at all. Yeah, it's, it's... Okay, this camera is heavier than this Pixel camera. So if you think about your old clunky one with the tapes, this weighs more than this does. Yeah. Which is something, really, considering the amount of technology inside. Absolutely. And this unit as well has been totally future proofed as well for live streaming so it's carrying all of the necessary firmware um, as and when live streaming goes live with us which should be in the early part of 2022 there is no necessity to replace any part of this camera it's ready to go um, so just if you think about like a mobile phone you know you, you buy your your iphone or your android phone and then apple or google send you upgrades and that's how Pixar works. When you make upgrades to the software, they just download it straight off the server. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this will last a couple of good years of use before you need to look at hardware again. Absolutely, yes. I mean, this, this has been built to be, you know, future-proof for, uh -huh. for the next phase of, of our rollout. And yeah, as I said, carries all of the necessary components for it to go live. Um, and let's talk about how does it operate in light then? Because I know with this camera, if I was under floodlights, sometimes yeah. it'd flicker. You'd get things like that. You know, it wouldn't be great in the dark winters yeah. unless you had really good floodlights. Yeah, so we've got some fantastic technology in the camera itself, which allows us to have light stabilizing technology. Mm -hmm. So it will work well under floodlights, pretty much any, any light conditions yeah. that you can play football in. And obviously floodlights are variable between grounds and different levels of the game. So that's something that we've been wary of as well during the design phase. Okay, so the design's pretty innovative, incredibly innovative and unique. Like we said, it's being used at the pro level. But the software that sits on it is either really clever, but that's the engine that drives it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So as soon as this game has been processed, we attach it to the internet. And that's when the magic really happens. The server allows the, the two lenses to combine and we create the auto production. Yeah. Um, and then that then gets processed back to the user within a four hour window. Okay. And that's, that's a really critical point is that it's something that we really pride ourselves on um, at Pixel is that return receipt of the data to, to the user, you know, giving giving a football match back to someone 24 hours after they've recorded it, if they've got a game on a Tuesday night from a Saturday, yeah. kind of limits them in terms of what they yeah. can do with it, how the players can share it, and really it's it's value. Yeah. So we really try to optimise that duration that we can get the footage back into the hands of, of the people that need it. Um, so just on that going back a wee point there we heard earlier that the lenses are 4k and that means they take an enormous uh, uh, lens of, you know they take an enormous view of the pitch so that when the software inside brings those together they knit it together but then they can zoom in as well yeah so when this is set up nobody's zooming in nobody's moving it around that all comes later back when it's processed on the server when the server can pick up the ball, they can see where the players are moving. And then that clever software follows the game, follows the duration of the game. So it really is, you know, a volunteer happy product. Your volunteer can stand and watch the game. We'll show you how they operate it with just an iPhone or an Android phone, a mobile app. But, you know, a dad who wants to watch his son play, he can set this up. He can walk off. And the software's doing all the zooming, the software's following the kids around, the software's following the ball around, and he's still, you know, watching his enjoying son. Enjoying the game, that's He's it. enjoying the game. He's walking up and down. He might be giving advice. You know, it might be the coach that does it. He's not going to be looking down a lens. He wants to be giving instructions and orders. So it's the software on this thing that is so unique and so brilliant that, that makes the magic happen. Absolutely. How long uh, does the battery last on it? So we've got six hours. Okay. on board battery life um that means we could record up to four games in one go yeah which you know is ideal for someone that's maybe weekend use maybe they're recording a couple of games on a saturday they then might want to get it out again on the sunday there'd be no necessity to go and connect it charge it you yeah. can just record all of that and upload on a sunday evening also for tournaments and festivals being able to use it yeah. for back-to-back yeah. -back games yeah. is very important um but ultimately, if you did want to, you know, just record one game, it would take around an hour to upload the game and that would get returned within within a four hour window.
Fantastic. So, um, so certainly, would you say four hours or six hours? Six hours. Six hours. Right. So you could easily do two games back to back. So if, if you have a club that does that, you know, I know some clubs stack games, or you have a three G pitch and you're able to stack games, you can leave it in place. But again, you can charge it up overnight and then get it back out on Sunday or another evening, and away you go again. Remember, we're trying to. This, this is a very important thought. Think of as a as a club product. This isn't a volunteer bringing his camera. It's a club product that can live at the club, that can be used at the club, that can be plugged in at the club, charged at the club, kept safely, obviously, but it's a club product that multiple teams can use. Yeah, absolutely. I think because of the simplicity, it does make it, you know, it is that plug and play aspect that a parent could come on a Tuesday night for a number 14 game, yeah. access the camera, put it on the tripod and away they go via the control app. And then also from, from a club perspective with multiple teams, all of those different teams, they have, they have a holding position in our ecosystem. So all of the teams can be separated out yes. and access can be granted to the relevant people at each, each level of the club. So under 14s can just record under 14s and they just see under 14s. Absolutely. Logging. Great. Okay. So that's the camera, incredibly strong light. I was surprised how light it was. This is your box full of great things. You've got a strong foam case here, which you can see. It's just like a, a custom-made laptop case, really. Yeah. And in here, you've got a couple of things. So you've got your, your charging cable, is that right? Yeah, we've got a charging adapter that, that comes with the... Just like a laptop, just like plugging in your laptop. Really Standard easy. charging cable. Ethernet cable supplied for when you go to upload. And also an angle mount plate that's put into the tripod. This allows the camera to be housed at the correct angle for it to, to provide you with the best outcome. Great, and that's it. There's not many parts to it at all. There's the camera, there's the housing uh, clamp, and there's a tripod, so it's three things. So there's, you don't really do any training. It's pretty obvious, you know, anybody that's handled a camera or a laptop in the past should be able to use this. Talk to us about um, this then. So let's say we record a game, it's on the camera, we want to get this online, what yep. do we do next? So very simply, we just, at the, at the back of the camera here, we've got a rubber seal that gives us access to the ports, one of them being an ethernet. So we just stick in our ethernet cable and into the back of the camera there. And as soon as we connect that to our router, the game will start uploading as soon as we've launched it from the control app. Yeah. The game will upload. So you don't need to attach it to computer. There's no formatting of the data. You don't have to do anything else other than upload this. Yeah. Um, and you get an, uh, a status update on the lights on the front, which indicates that it's being uploaded. And then you, the next thing you'll hear from us is an email from Pixel saying your game is ready within that four hour window. So it really is as simple as that. And also, Within the rubber seal at the back there, you've also got the power switch and the ability for Wi-Fi and a reset button. So it's a very, very simple uh, connection yeah. um, that, can, that can get the data out of it. So every house probably has a router with broadband access. I bet most clubhouses will have a router now as well because they'll need internet access for their TVs, for their EPOS, for running the club. So um, that's a huge advantage. One of the things that um, makes that much better than the old ones is this you had to connect to a computer and if you imagine this is a four gig file you've got to move four gig off your handheld camera onto your laptop which is a pain yeah and then from your laptop you might edit it or process it really hard work and then you've got to upload it to the cloud huge amounts of heavy lifting that isn't heavy lifting with the pixel air you're just plugging it into your router your bt router your sky your virgin router and the, mag the, the computer magic, sorry, the, the camera magic does the rest. Absolutely. Uh, and you say how long until it's uploaded and ready to use? Yeah, so it'd be around a four hour window until okay. that's, that's back into your hands. And then obviously highlights, game planning, everything can start from that point moving forwards. And everyone's got that absolutely on tap, players, fans, anyone who you want to engage with the actual data. Great, okay. So now we've seen the tripod, we've seen what's in the box. Should we put the camera on top? Sure, yeah. And you can see that, and then we'll turn this on. And then we can actually show you how you switch it on with your phone as well. So you'll see on the front of the camera, you get an updated LED. That's a status light, and there's various different colors that give us an indication of its status. That's now locked into place onto the tripod. 
if you can see that too well, but hopefully maybe just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, there, I can zoom in there. Yeah. And then you would hoist this up to, to the desired height, this tripod going up to 4.5 meters at its full extension. And you'd be roughly around four or five meters back from the, from the byline on the halfway line. Um, and as soon as you've done that, you would then connect to our control app. Okay, so I'm just gonna share some screens now so you can see the, the control app and what that looks like. Uh, let me just hit that. There we go, you should be back able to see my screen. So if I hit present there, this is a screenshot from the Pixelot mobile app, is that right? Yep, so that's our control app and that's directly talking to the, the, the camera. It's established a Wi-Fi connection. So you've got your two lenses here, your left one and your right one. Two lenses and as you can see there, that's raw footage. So they, they've not been stitched together. And as soon as we've got that image and we've got all four corners in the shot, we can quite simply hit the record button, the red button, yep. and the camera will start recording. This will be hoisted up at that stage and the status indicator here will go to red. So we've got a nice visual cue. So you can just hoist up like this. Yeah. A nice visual cue for the operator that it's still recording, it's, it's still functional. And then as far as uh, the operator is concerned, that phone, tablet can go back into the pocket. They can go over to the bench. They can go and see to their team. If it's a spectator, a fan, they can go and get a hot dog, enjoy yeah. the game. And then you only need to return back to the cameras when the game's finished. And that's that's this is the real beauty of it. You're not finding a volunteer to do another job. It's not a great job, you know, looking at a screen, doing all the work. This is a really enjoyable job. You know, you could have a whole team of people who just do like the Pixlot setup, um, that come down, look after it. I know at my club we installed an electric scoreboard, and one of the old boys looks after that because it's on a tablet. So he sits with a tablet in his coat. He gets it out, he takes his glove off, and he types in the score, and he press send, and then it shows up on the screen. He loves it. He thinks it's a dream job. Before then, you had to have someone put, you know, plastic board letters on, yeah. numbers on the board. It's just a modern way of doing it, and it's a modern way where it actually gives a volunteer a lot of fun. This yeah. is a fun job for someone to pick up. Absolutely, and obviously a lot of the players have children as well, and I'm not saying that necessarily a child can operate this, but certainly a student yeah. or someone that you don't really need to rely on, you know, to have too much of a skill set, they can quite easily just get the tripod out. And like you say, they'll take ownership and it will be really their thing that they do every Saturday at the football club. Absolutely. I can see the youth players doing this themselves, 16-year-olds, 17, 18-year-olds. They'll yeah. grab it out of the changing room or the clubhouse. And they'll go set it up themselves yeah. before an adult even arrives. Well, I'd be sending my I'd be sending my boys to make the match day squad. So you're you're on the pixel lock camera yeah. today. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I think we've shown you what you get. You get your tripod, you get your camera in your case, and that's all you need. And then you get access to the software. So we'll go talk pricing for a second, and then we'll have a look at some more slides. Yeah. That's so cool. the camera that's up here, the Pixel Air including all this stuff here, including the packaging. How much is this one? So this is 999 pounds. That's 999 pounds. And then the tripod? 199. 199, so it's 200 pounds, so roughly 1200 pounds. Correct. And right now there's a special offer? Um, there is to pitch hero yet yeah, to the people that are attending the webinar. So they get 100 pounds off of the camera. Okay, that's incredible uh, value, folks. For that kind of camera, we paid, I think, 1600 pounds for this. I think it was about 10 years ago, five years ago. So it's an incredible offer, but once they've bought the hardware, um, the camera, this is going to last many years, remember, because it's made to take an upgrade. Uh, there's obviously the ongoing software subscription, which lets you edit, manage, and analyze the, the, yeah. the, the video. So what, how much is that? So there's two different subscription models. There's one if there's a single team, mm -hmm. it's 35 pounds a month. Yeah. And then for multiple teams, it's 59 pounds a month. Okay. And that allows as it says on the tin that would allow a club to have all of their different age groups maybe yeah. their women's section and everyone can come in and out of the system as they please all the time that data is being siphoned off into the correct team yeah. with their own admin structure for that particular team so that could be a coach or or people that you want to see a certain part of the organization got it so the average football club on pitch here i think has 12 teams we we tend to do large multi uh, team clubs so what's 60, 60 quid per uh, club divide that by 12 five pounds per team for a month to look at all their video analysis yeah. and to see all their videos being tracked and all those videos being hosted as well so imagine the bandwidth then then comes with that that's included so it's, it's still incredible value yeah and also within that subscription is the 
is the ability to connect with our with our apps and also our VidSwap platform, which is you know a major part of the delivery back to the back to the players and have for the coach to have at his disposal once he's got that got that piece of video footage. Got it. So should we look at some more of these slides here now? Do you want to take us through these now? Yeah, absolutely. So VidSwap is is basically a place where we can aggregate the data. So a coach and players can can go online and they can start to analyze and break down the data. Uh, VidSwap's got all the capacity for, for highlights. Um, we can create reviews. It's got something called playbooks, which we'll show you a little bit later. But it's basically a, a, a port of call for them to be able to say, right, now I've got this data. How do I present this back to my players? How do my players actually engage and start to learn? And VidSwap's the place to do that. So on the screen right now, we can see a numerical stats breakdown. It might be for possession. It might be for the number of shots. But all of this can be done with it within the VidSwap uh, platform. Great. OK, there's some questions coming in, folks. I'll get to those as soon as we can. We'll just go through these slides and then we'll do some questions in uh, five to two, two to three minutes. So let me just take you on to the next slide. There we go. And then we've got also just. Uh, and then on VidSwap, we can obviously display the data by charts. Again, going back to that kind of visual learning. Yeah rather than bombard players with lists of numbers, which are useful for maybe admin or, or management, we can present these kind of unique charts, which kind of break all the data down, make it simple to look at. And maybe you don't want to overload your players. You just yeah. want them to quickly look at where their, where their shot percentage was from. Yeah. And you might want them to shoot a little bit closer yeah. to the goal. All of that um, functionality is built in within the VidSpot platform. Yeah, and you produce heat maps as well. Yes, absolutely. So one of the breakdowns from once we've got the data and got the stats is it can be presented in that format. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, and then the next slide. Yeah, so the next one is the, the Pixel or U platform. Now, this is this is really interesting. So going back, taking a step back from VidSwap, which is a place where we might really kind of like get into the nitty gritty. We might add some deep stats with several attributes. From a fan perspective, if I want to quickly share a goal with my granddad or my yeah. granny, or there's something that I want to put on my own social media, I can straight away go onto our U platform, which is on iOS and Android straight onto into the palm of the hand and I've got access to the game I can then break it down and do what I want with it so going back to the players yeah. and the fans owning the actual content that's the place where they can quickly and easily start to regurgitate it use it as a historic reference as well they can have all of their games all of their goals in their pocket so as a coach you can use that app to make clips and then send them straight to your players and the players get access to the clips as well absolutely and, and that's all part of the subscription absolutely fantastic yeah. So that's great objective video content that you can give to your players Monday, Tuesday before training yeah. and have that conversation. With and them. the nice bit about that as well, breaking down those time barriers is yeah. that it's not on the coach. So yeah. we're, not, we're not giving more work to the coach. We're taking the workload off of the coach. And we're now saying as soon as that game's available, all of those players that he's got in his, in his team yeah. that he's added as a member will get access to that game. As soon as he's got it, they've got it. Yeah. Nice. Um, which is which is really nice makes sense okay um and then the final one here the fans platform so this is what we just talked That's about what here just talked about. so you can share it with all your supporters grandparents ad, uh, adults players etc and they can see this content so it's not just about the coaching team i can't emphasize enough it's about the players player development the more development the players have the more they progress the more they'll come back and also the more you can attract talent you know, I know for a fact that um, the top players now, when they're being scouted by clubs, they actually say to the coaches, well, what have you got for me? Are you using yeah. GPS? Are yeah. you using a Pixel video solution? Do you have this performance? You know, they're quizzing the club. And if the club wants to attract great players, yeah. you need to be investing in te well, technology like yeah. this. Well, absolutely. Every player wants to know their journey. And if, if they're, if they're going to play for you and put a shift yeah. in, they probably want to know that, you know, someone's going to see them. Yeah. And they're going to get recognized. Yeah. Um, and that's that's one great thing as well that we can offer. OK, great. So we'll come out of that and we'll go back to um, full video mode so you can see uh, Neil and I again. And then we've got a couple of questions coming in. So I'll ask these to Neil. Um, is it possible to upload and record at the same time? Let's say, can I manage to connect to the Internet um, and at the pitch at the same time? What's uh, no, you wouldn't be able to do that as it stands. So yeah. you, it, it will be taken after the event. Yeah. Uh, but you're working on a, an update for streaming? Absolutely. So as I said earlier, the camera is totally uh, future proof for live streaming. 
and you know that will take it to the next level again yeah. when you'll be able to live stream straight from the side of the pitch and again if you bought this and you release that software that's a free software upgrade absolutely yes. and you can start doing it. yeah so you know in regards to streaming it's built in it's just a matter of months before that's ready for you to use and it's there um we did a lot uh, here at Pitcher about streaming and it's a really interesting topic um, about how much it's going to be used um, it certainly was used a lot during things like COVID and lockdowns and pandemics and things like that. And it's certainly become a lot more popular amongst teams to, to stream. So um, having something like that already built in, future-proof, a massive benefit and a really important selling point. Um, what's a typical file size for a one-hour recording? Uh, good question. You're probably looking around two gig, for two to three gig for a, for a full game two to three gig for a full game. So you wouldn't want to be able to move that yourself. You want it to just go from there straight to your router. Yeah, absolutely. And then based, based on your bandwidth upload speed, that will be dependent on the time that it reaches our server. Yeah. And then as soon as we receive it, that four hour window kicks in and we get it back to you. Got it. Okay. Uh, is there an API or any other way to connect the camera in case we want to hire a software developer to build our own mobile app with different features? Get in touch with us. Yeah, I um, think, I any, think reach uh, out to them. Yeah, any anything's possible. Uh, so yeah, definitely, definitely drop us an email on that one. Okay, so um, Pitch Hero here. We have five thousand clubs, seventy thousand teams. We're already talking to Pixel about how we can get video from their system into the club website. So on our club websites, clubs already type in the events. They type in the stats from a game. So how can we sync that so we know their Pixel account, we know their Pitch Hero account, and we mix the videos up. Um, so I think, yeah, watch this space. We as Pitch Hero know giving APIs out there is a great way to grow. And I'm sure Pixlot thinks something so similar as well. Um, question around the fees and sub subscriptions. Two questions. Um, remind us what the subscription fees are and what the terms are. Yep. So just to answer the first one, cost of the camera is £999. And then you can either pay monthly or annual. Uh, 35 pounds or 39 59 or 65 for for the multi-team so yeah again get it get in contact uh with us and i can answer any more questions in around the uh subscriptions yeah and just on that jason i think you sent that question in um there's an offer right now for pitch hero clubs and people on this webinar it won't last forever so this week is the time to to look into it um the tripod as well is 200 so hardware altogether around £1,200. Correct. A huge amount of kit uh, for £1,200. And another question from Jason, what's the zoom capability? So we talked about these are 4K cameras, uh, but it's actually, this. so they take, a, they take a huge 4K shot of your pitch, each side of your pitch, but then the software knits it together and the software does the zooming and the end result is a broadcast quality shot it is and it's actually a really good question again and um to answer it we've also got the ability to provide a panel right so with regards to going in zooming cropping and trying to get something in more detail you've got the peace of mind that you have got the end-to-end -end footage we can also select what kind of view that we actually process the video in so we've got the broadcast format we've also got something called tactical which is very interesting and when yeah. you look at analysis at the higher um, parts of the game they'll often use the tactical view for from an analysis perspective that will keep both back lines in the shot at all times as they move up and down yeah. the pitch yeah. you can identify space better you can you know you can break down the actual space and, and everything that's going on in the game using that tactical view so that's an option as well that the customer can use yeah and presumably the software and ii is getting better every week you know you're releasing upgrades you're releasing upgrades so everything needed to take the shot is built and that's what you're buying you can't you know a 4k camera is is more than enough yeah the bit that's always improving that you're getting for free or as part of your subscription is the upgrades on the software yeah and you know it's like talking about tesla cars right they they make the tesla car go faster with a software upgrade you know they, they can do something to the electric engines which make the car go faster imagine that you can download an upgrade and your car goes faster that's what happens now well with these types of cameras you download an upgrade and you might you get a better shot absolutely you get more functionality you get more zoom options yeah it's all part of what the developers can do and what developers can release over time 
and obviously a massive advantage again off, against your old mate there is that because of technology we can do that all remotely so yep. if those things happen there's no technical implications back to the back to the customers they simply just plug that in to the internet the updates come through and off we go and that's one of the big things of Pixelot is that taking those learnings from the elite end of the game mm -hmm. where we might be changing things we might be bringing new tech into the air camera yeah it can be done very quickly yeah yeah okay that's great um a couple more questions coming in um is the battery removable or replaceable for when it eventually declines that's a good question, yes, good question. not not at the moment you know we've We've, it's been thoroughly road tested and we believe that it's got at least a three year longevity mm -hmm. um, with, with regards to battery life. So, you know, that's something that we can take up offline as well. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no way to take that out at the moment and yeah, it, it serves the purpose. Right. Okay. Uh, there's another question coming through. There is, uh, let's have one from Nick. Do we get access to the raw file to make any manual edits or just a post processed file? Also, where can we see more recent examples of footage? Well, first of all, Nick, um, we'll get Neil or somebody from Pixlot to follow you up so and send you links tomorrow to uh, footage that you can see for yourselves. I think there's lots on YouTube, in fact, you if you Google Pixlot footage and things like that. Um, but we'll make sure you, you get contact details so someone comes get you. But can Nick um, get access to the raw files? Yes, so not the actual raw file because it won't make too much sense yeah. because it's two independent cameras. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of the raw file, it goes back to that panoramic, mm -hmm. um, and they absolutely. So all of that, all of that um, information data can be downloaded and then accessed wherever wherever the Nick likes. So yeah, yeah well, you, I think what you're getting there at Nick is is you know you might want to do something yourself because the software doesn't do it. What drives these guys is to do the work for you so you're yeah. not having to dig down the raw file you're not having to do the editing the software and the controls they give you give you everything you need um but an interesting point well, yeah thank you for it uh some more questions um uh, earlier you quoted a file size of two to three gig for one hour long video what bit rate would we get for a streaming 4k video feed Oof, good question yeah. Is that a um yeah, Devon, we'll get back to you on that as and when streaming goes live. Yeah, good question. So we can come back to that. We've got your details uh, and we'll come back to you with uh, an email in the next 24 hours. Any more questions, folks, just fire them in. We're happy to answer them. Um, likewise, if you want to see or talk to um, someone from Pixelot, email us in. We can set up a demo. You do online webinar video demos yep. um, um, and show you. We can put you in touch with clubs that have bought this. If you want a reference to it being used, show you the quality of data and also give you a demo of the, the stats yeah, and the online website that you get and all the great hosting tools on there as well. Yep, happy to go through any of those points and, and obviously VidSwap as well. We can do some live demos. Just reach out to us. Uh, all the contact details will be shared and we can answer all of the questions and, and take, take anyone through, absolutely. So just to go on that last bit now, what VidSwap is. So VidSwap, is a system that's owned by Pixelot, and that's where your video can be sent. It's an option, so automatically you tick a box and your video goes into that system, and that lets you tag and break down a game into individual events. So an event could be a pass, a corner, a goal, uh, a tackle. Absolutely. You break it all down. And I'm right thinking with VidSwap, you can also pay someone to do it for you. Yeah, you can. That's a really interesting aspect of it is that you can actually get a breakdown provided yeah. by VidSwap. Yeah. So you don't even have to do anything. And there's a couple of different options. There's a basic, um, there's an intermediate and there's an advanced. So basically basic would be team stats, basic mm -hmm. team stats going all the way up to individual players. And that's where you would input your rosters. They'd be able to tag it by shirt number. So yeah, again, get in contact with us on, on that front. These are all small steps that you can take. I think for a lot of clubs right now, the key thing is you have a phenomenal way of capturing a 90 minute game of football, minimal effort that any volunteer can do. It doesn't mean they have to look through one of these awful things. They can walk off, they can enjoy their game, they can watch their kids or their son or whoever playing and it will be recorded. They take it down, they put it away and they upload it straight into the router without touching a laptop and this, the video is online and then you can do a million things absolutely and like having that's that, the beauty of it having that historic event as well you know in years to come 
sat round on, on Christmas Day or yeah. something and being able to show your grandkids that you used to play a bit of football or something and having it archived on a mobile app, I think it's pretty cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, okay, folks, so I think that's everything there we've covered. We've been on for 45 minutes, so we'll let you get back to your evening, uh, top up the glass of wine or whatever you're, you're doing tonight. Um, I can't emphasize enough, the Pixlot staff are fantastic here in the UK, so if you're based in the UK, reach out to them. Um, there's an offer right now for Pitchero clubs and clubs that are on this live webinar. You can also get a, a copy of this webinar. It'll be hosted. So if you've got club officials or coaches um, that want to watch this, it can be sent to them. But please do reach out to Neil and his team. They're very helpful, very friendly, uh, and can be a really good service for your club. So that's it. Should we leave it there? Yeah. Great. Awesome. Thanks for your time, folks. Thanks, guys. Uh, and we'll see you all very soon.